So there are plenty of interesting random encounters Bethesda took the time creating in Fallout 76 for us to discover. In this video, I'll be covering five strange ones that you might have missed exploring around the wasteland. So this first strange encounter, you can find this guy running from a chicken as if his life depended on it. I mean, he's so scared he literally starts to cry at one point. Oh, 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 oh. oh god, I hate chickens! Someone help, please! When I first saw this, I was cracking up. Like, this has to be one of the funniest random encounters in the game to me so far. But uh, yeah, we actually get some choices if we do decide to take out the monstrous chicken chasing him. As you can see, here's what he says after we do that. Wow. Thank you so much for killing that thing. You don't know how long it's been chasing me. Thanks again. You can keep the chicken if you want. I don't eat meat. So as you heard, he thanks us, and then he tells us that he doesn't eat meat, and that we can keep the chicken if we want. As you can see, we get two options here, to keep the chicken, or to not. Let's go ahead and respond to him by saying, sure, I'll eat it. Glad it's not going to waste. Okay, so that's what he says, and after responding, he just ran off too, as you saw. And by the way, I just got a chicken thigh and some intestines off of this chicken as well. So it just counts as an ordinary chicken. For those of you that might have been wondering about the loot from it. But yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and find this random encounter again and see what he says when we respond with no thanks to him. Thanks again. You can keep the chicken if you want. I don't eat meat. Oh, all right. Well, thanks for killing it. So yeah, that's what he says when you say no thanks, for those of you that might have been wondering. And you can find this chicken chasing this guy sometimes right over here around the 88 sign. There's other areas too where this random encounter will spawn at, but this is one of them right above the Alpine River cabins. You know, the location where you can hear the screams at. For those of you that might have been wondering about that scream earlier in the video, when we were hearing the scavenger in fear over running from the chicken. <laughs> yeah, that scream, that was from being around Alpine River cabins. It had nothing to do with the random encounter. This actually is a pretty good location to build around if you're trying to build like a scary themed camp. But yeah, I guess that's a good enough overview over this random encounter. Let's get into the next one now. I hate chickens! Someone help, please! It's gonna kill me! <laughs> okay, so next up here, there is this unusual pipe sticking out of the ground that has a bunch of smoke coming from it. And we have the option to sniff it. Yeah, you heard that right. And, well, here's what happens when we do. So as you saw there, our screen got extremely funky looking. It looked as if we just drank some Nuka Shine and was about to black out. It had that similar effect with the screen. However, we don't end up blacking out from sniffing this pipe. Man, that just sounds so strange to say. And I don't know about you, but the sound after sniffing it sounded pretty eerie to me. It made me feel like something was about to go down. It just sounded so strange. We do get a buff after interacting with it. As you can see, it's called Unusual Pipe and it will restore our health by 4 HP per second. And this only lasts until that effect on our screen goes away pretty much. So it doesn't last long, but it will refill your health. So not much in particular happens when you go to sniff this unusual pipe. I will say though, this is the most strangest random encounter in Fallout 76 till this date. There's also a body that'll be next to the pipe. As you can see, you can loot a note from him that says pipe. And when you go to read this, it states pipe is life. Um, actually, a fun fact about this random encounter in the game, it was created by level designer Zachary Wilson, and here's what he had to say about creating it. 
You slave away for two decades honing your craft and obsessing over every detail only to find that your most successful contribution to the art form is some nonsense you made at 8pm on a Wednesday at the end of the project when no one was looking. And then as you can see within this tweet, it's a Reddit post that is titled, At long last, I have found it in the wild. Pipe is life. So yeah, pretty interesting to get the thoughts of the developer over the random encounter, especially since this is such a bizarre one, but interesting at the same time. By the way, all of this info that I just mentioned about the developer over this random encounter can be found in the wiki over this Pipe is life random encounter, just in case some of you may be curious on how I even got this information. And you have a possibility of finding this right above Tyler County's fairground, right here on the map. Keep in mind though, this isn't the only location where you can find this. Just wanted to clarify, just like other random encounters, there are other locations where you can find this at. This isn't the only location. But uh, yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and get on to the next one. Yes, what you just saw there was an iBot leading a bunch of rad rats with some flute music. This is actually a Pied Piper Easter egg in the game. He was a guy that was able to get rats to follow him by playing a flute, or also known as his magical pipe. As you can see, they are friendly with you, and the iBot is just leading the way while these rad rats follow it. Keep in mind though, they're not always going to be glowing. For example, here, this time around, rad rat pups were following it. Now I did try to experiment around with this random encounter by taking out the iBot to see how the rad rats would react and they just kind of stayed around in the same area where I took out the iBot as you can see. I also tried taking out the rad rats to see how the iBot would react and yeah after taking them all out I figured out that there's no reaction with the iBot either. Just thought I'd try it out though. Anyways one of the areas where you can locate this random encounter will be right over here on the map. But yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and get into this next one. Okay, so this next random encounter is this settler apprentice that has this special kind of eye bot following him. Check this out. I get to jam out without having to wear that clunky pit boy. <laughs> I'll program this little guy to give me some traveling music. If you don't have music in your life, what's the point? We really need to clean up around here. You want to make a name for yourself? Get yourself a theme song. I programmed this little guy to give me some traveling music. So yeah, other than those few things that he says to us about his love for music and, well, his iBot that he has following him around playing music, um, there's not much else than that. You can't interact with them, nor his iBot. I also tried just shooting the iBot to get some peace and quiet because it just keeps going and going. I mean, I get it. I love music too, but... Woo! <laughs> How does he have that thing just falling around constantly making those sounds? And you know, he's just casually going about his business, having a conversation with me. <laughs> but yeah, nothing interesting happens with him. Although, it is a strange and unique one that I thought I'd add in this one. I felt like it fit perfectly with the ones I've selected so far. Love the ones with some humor. And by the way, I located this random encounter at the same location where I found the guy being chased by the chicken. It has a potential chance to spawn over here around the 88 sign, once again, above Alpine River cabins. Keep in mind though, this random encounter can once again spawn in other areas too. But this is one area that you can find this at. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this last one now. Access detected. Ooh, looks like 
like you just stepped into the wrong power armor. Seriously, though, get out. I'm coming right back for this, on account of running out of fusion cores. I'm just gonna get a new one. I find you in it, whoever you are, and I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> so beat it. Go find your own. Okay, so as you heard right there, when you first enter this full set of Raider power armor that'll be located randomly around the map, the person who used to own this will actually start speaking from some sort of speaker that's on it or something. However, the person that talks doesn't continue talking while you're in this power armor. It's actually just a regular set of Raider power armor. The power armor isn't unique whatsoever. However, the encounter that we have when entering it is. It's a pre-recorded message that activates when entering it. So it's basically like the power armor's alarm system. And what's also cool about this random encounter is that you get different dialogue from the Raider when entering his old power armor. Unauthorized access detected. Hey, thought you'd just steal yourself through the power armor, huh? Bad news, pal. This sucker's rigged. Gonna blow real soon. You try and get out? Boom! <laughs> Now, I was hoping that we could maybe encounter the raider that was talking, but unfortunately there from that dialogue, it seemed like he passed away. And not to mention, this raider power armor was in the game before human NPCs even came into Fallout 76. So yeah, there's a high chance that we're not able to encounter him. I will say though, he did seem like an upbeat kind of character, and probably would have made a great addition for the game as an upbeat character to interact with. But yeah, I know I've covered this Talking Raider power armor in the past, but I figured this would fit perfectly as one of the five random encounters within this video. But yeah, I guess that's about wrapping up everything. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I'm out of here though. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.